Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Unwana Udo. Every week, I share great content on how to improve your personal finance, investments, and grow your wealth. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so YouTube will notify you of new videos. The topic today is why you don't have any money. Ask most people today and they'll tell you, money is scarce. That's why it's so popular. When they say, scarce, they don't mean that there's too little money in the world, they just mean that the ratio of people who want it and people who have it is quite huge. If money weren't a scarce commodity, it would be a different world. So if money is so scarce, how do you get the things you want and need? What if you want that nice car? A boat? A house? Or an addition to your home? You find that your income is just enough to make ends meet, with barely any extra left over to put away for a rainy day. If that's you, you might want to consider starting a side business or side gig in order to build your money reserves for savings and investing. That way, you'll still be able to afford the finest things in life. There are many factors on why you don't have money and we will discuss them in this video. Also, make sure to watch till the end, I will share tips on what you can do starting today to save more money and never have to worry about money again. One of the reasons why you don't have money is due to a lack of financial literacy. Most of us grew up in families where the topic of money was never discussed. We have an educational system that trains us to be employees but does not teach us basic personal finance. We live in a materialistic society and are constantly being bombarded with commercials on products that we think will make us better. These marketers use psychological marketing techniques to get us to part with our money. Our social media feeds are slammed daily with images and videos of our friends, family, and even strangers displaying lifestyles of affluence. The sad part is that most of these images we see on our social media feeds are fake lifestyles. We see videos of our famous celebrities driving around in luxury and exotic vehicles and we feel the urge to emulate them by getting into debt in order to compete. We try to keep up with the Joneses. These are just some of the reasons why you don't have money. Having money requires planning, discipline, focus and delayed gratification. Unfortunately, most people lack these attributes and so, struggle with money. Did you know that over 50% of households in America cannot afford a $1,000 emergency? In a country where the average income is $52,000, we have people living paycheck to paycheck. We live in a society where spending all your hard-earned money is acceptable because everyone is doing the same. Why would you want to live like everyone else? If you want your relationship with money to change, then you must change your mindset. Don't get me wrong, I am not here to criticize people, but rather to enlighten people. The reason why I started my YouTube channel is to help as many people as possible avoid all the money traps, and share some light on how to become more fiscally responsible. I have made my fair share of money blunders, and want to use this YouTube platform to share knowledge on how to improve your personal finance and grow your wealth. If you feel that you have gotten value so far, please hit the like button so YouTube's algorithm will share this video with others. Here are steps you can implement today to change your money habits. Number 1. Create a budget. A budget is your financial blueprint on what to do with your money. It assigns every dollar a task so that you have much better control over your spending. If you have never created a budget, there are lots of resources on YouTube that can help you with this. I will also leave a link in the description below on resources that will help you with creating your budget. So make sure to check the description below. Number 2. Pay yourself first. This may sound easy, however, it is very difficult to do. We have the habit of paying everyone first but ourselves. We send our hard-earned money to our utility companies, credit card companies, retail store cards, etc., but forget to pay ourselves. What sense does it make to work over 40 hours a week, get a paycheck, and then turn around and hand it over to others? You must pay yourself first by setting up an account whereby you have automatic deposits sent to. You must allocate a set amount or percentage of your take-home pay to be automatically deposited into this account. This is what the wealthy do, they pay themselves first before paying anyone else. If you want to be wealthy, do what the wealthy do, pay yourself first. Number 3. Establish an emergency fund. Remember the statistics I mentioned earlier, over 50% of families cannot afford a $1,000 emergency. Having an emergency fund will address this situation and will serve as insurance for you when life happens. 
As part of your budget, you must allocate a percentage of your income towards an emergency fund and never stop contributing to this. Ideally, you should have anywhere from 3 to 6 months living expenses in this fund. Number 4. Avoid consumer debt. One of the main reasons why most of us don't have money is because of consumer debts. Consumer debts include credit card debt, car loans, personal loans, student loans, etc. Consumer debt robs us of our financial future and is one of the leading causes of divorce. Take for instance if you purchased a brand new car today. The average price of a new car today is $37,000 and let's assume you got a 72 months loan at 4%. Your monthly car payment will be $578.87 and after the 72 months, you will end up paying $41,678.64 on a depreciating asset. Now let us assume instead of buying this car, you invest $578.87 every month for 72 months in a certificate of deposit earning 4%, you will end up with $47,174.03. My question to you is, which would you rather choose? Yes, I know the temptation of driving a new car can be great, but I had rather choose the certificate of deposit than drive a new car. This is the power of compound interest, make compound interest your friend. Remember that the $578.87 car payment does not take into account property tax, insurance, fuel cost, and maintenance cost on this car. You work so hard for your money, why would you want to throw it into a depreciating asset? I hope you found great value so far. Please share this video with others and help grow this channel, and thank you in advance for this. The next video on the screen contains great information you will love. Click and watch that video now and stay tuned for my next video on what to do when you have no money.